Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Wednesday. What does side eye binge watch and throw shade all have in common? That sounds uh, like a typical morning show for us. All of those, <laughs> all three of those things. Scrabble players are going to be happy to know all these words are now legal. They're now part of Merriam Webster's dictionary. Dictionary added more than 1,000 new words, which I love because the English language is always changing, yes. always evolving. It's one of the beautiful things about language mm -hmm. that as time goes on, we invent these new words that reflect modern culture. So yeah. throwing shade, I think I learned, I'm a little surprised it took that long. I think I was introduced to that term about four years ago. Yeah, that's a little bit old. It's like a I real housewives uh, term, you right? You have to see if it sticks exactly. around, though. Like, sometimes I, that's these true. words come yeah. up yeah. and then they Fleeting. kind of, yeah, they're very, very short lived. So the way they look at it is uh, frequency of use, mm -hmm. widespread use. So that goes okay. to what you're talking mm -hmm. about. And meaningful use. So oh. it's got to be, I uh, mean, there's nothing more meaningful than throwing shade, I'll tell you what, especially if you're on the receiving it's end excellent. of it. Throwing shade is like a little insult, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. you're kind of dissing someone, mm -hmm. if you will. Yes. Uh, some of the words first word pro first world problem. Mm -hmm. First world problem. I like problem. that How one. I use that. It gives you perspective Give people on an life. Example. Okay, if you miss your flight, it's a first world problem. You're even flying. Uh, your internet speed is slow. That's a first world problem. So this has replaced people saying, well, there are starving children in Africa. Exactly. This is essentially what this is kind of taking care of. It gives you perspective. Mm -hmm. I like it. It gives yeah. me a little check every yeah. now and then. Okay, I mean, we that's live not in, a real problem. We live in the first world, though. All of our problems are first world problems. Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's okay. Like, you know, I, but I'm lying, we need to know the definition. It's a Gotta good term, a good term. Yeah. Some well, of the other things they do is add extra definitions to terms. So, so they like, kind of update it. Correct. So artisanal is a word that has been in the dictionary for a long time. But now they've added artisanal to include food definitions. If you've looked mm -hmm. at labels of bread or cheese, or everything is artisanal. Does it say, um, it's kind of like farm to table. Yeah. Yes, artisanal is like, it kind of evokes this handcrafted, yeah. small producer. Did is that a Derosha Eats word? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't love the term because it's so squishy. You're like, what does it mean? Does it mean like it's from a family farm or does mm -hmm. it mean it's, you know, what is well, it? Well, now you can look in the dictionary. Now like, it means now nothing. It, it still means nothing, but it's in the dictionary. <laughs> we like humble brag. Yes. That's another one. These are Kylie, the best. explain a humble brag. A humble brag, uh, an example. Oh, I don't know how I got into Columbia. It's such a difficult school. We better investigate this. <laughs> yes. Or, oh, this person thinks I'm so good looking. I guess stop talking to me. They and keep, you know, talking to me. Social media is where people use this. For like. Yeah, sure. it's crazy. It's funny. I love the humble brag. I yeah. think it's hilarious. Lots of great new words. So we'll put the whole list of all the yeah. new words at WCCO.com.